Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Rain speaking. Today we're going to see if I can finish this particular ending in one fell swoop. Because it's time to play in. Alright, guys, you should be so glad because technically I already finished this, got the ending, and my recording program was just like, nope! So, um, just to remind you guys, um, this mirror, it's empty. It's just us. It's all nice and cool. Mannequin head that wasn't there before, but after, but now in this version because we kicked the mannequin head? Yeah. Well, okay, so... Women here like playing loves me, loves me not. That's, that's foreshadowing Mary's whole, um, spiel about, uh, later killing us. Um, and Gary closes this book because this is an adult romance novel. Separation, very off-putting, lights go off. Gary clearly doesn't really like the dark, so, you know, he's like, what, are you there? And we're gonna say, nope. What are you saying? Of course you're here. Yes, we are, Gary. We love you. We're just messing with you. Alright. Um, yes, he has a lighter! Help! No, stop! Don't, don't kill me! Huh? What is this? I agree! It's so weird! Where'd it come from? And if you guys haven't noticed, yeah, it's not good for mental health, but, um, look, that mannequin head? Crying now. Not cool. Alright. First thing, in the mirror, that is one of the things that happens by having kicked the mannequin head. It's just kind of like, what in God's name? His, um, Face is blotted out. Mary clearly does not like him. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna say it's nothing, because, you know, I'm gonna say your face was. Because you guys haven't seen it, but I really want to find out what that is, so, um, I'm gonna be going through that later. But anyway, hmm, hmm, what do you mean? Anyway, a mirror. A mirror. Ha! <laughs> Gary's. I and my eyes are, um, both blotted out. I, 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 I. All of the eyes. So creepy. Alright. When I first saw that, that was just like, ah, chills. Uh, yeah, see? And this is one of the other things that you can look at. No fire, no fire, no fire, no fire, no fire. Really emphasizing the fact that no fires are allowed when there are paintings. Uh, uh, so creepy. I don't care how many times I see it. That, that's just such a creepy thing. Um, and see, there we go. Play. The only one that we get uh, in the normal one, if we're very nice to all the things in this museum, though they're trying to kill us, um, we get this. Play. But uh, everything else you just saw, we get because, you know. Um, yeah. Alright. Anyway. Um... Probably shouldn't have saved over that. Oh well. Um, too late now. Ah. Uh. Whoa, are you okay? Shock. Fluster. Oh, wait! And you know, we're just basically like, okay, wait, come back, don't run off. Look, we're friends! And you know, she's just kind of like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get out. But see, her getting out means one of us has to die. So. Her, she, her reaction right here? Huh? I totally agree with it. If I was in her place and I'm trying to kill one of you guys, you know, to, uh, to, to, to get out of this world myself, then, yeah, I'd be like, you want to be buddy buddies with me? In this world where I totally rule it? And all the strange things totally won't kill me and touch me? Cool, okay, sure. And I'm gonna be nice to Mary this time around, because she's sweet and she has a story that... I feel so bad for her. I really do. So, nice to meet you, Ib. Nice to meet you, too. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks. And so, yeah, now we have more company. Force of the Quarrel. We're gonna heal even though we don't need to. Get the little conversation. Get some more, uh... Get some more love between Ib and Mary. And, uh... Gary learns that she doesn't care about him. Except for the color blue and that he has a blue rose. Um... We already know that, um, that door's locked, so we're just gonna skip on over here. 
Um, we already know about the Ruin of the Heart, so the only thing we need to look at truly is the, uh, the Red Eyes. The love of this painting, this room, why must it all be so unsettling? She thinks it's cute. See, we're the only ones hallucinating and seeing bunnies. Mary and Gary both see the, uh, the Red Eyes doll. And, um, yeah, what about this is cute? Honestly, Gary, I'm gonna disagree. I kinda think it's cute too, and I'm gonna totally make plushies of these. I will. Um, I know, right? It's so adorable! And he's just like, oh god, enough of this. Let's just check the room and leave. I feel like I'm being watched. Something, talk about unsettling. Bunny suicide, come on! Come on! What? No bunny suicide? Alright, fine. You have to read Ruin of the Heart. Okay, I'm cool with that. Thank you. Alright, so now that we know that, you know, you'll go psycho if, um, if you don't properly, if you, if your spirit, you know, your spirit's gonna break and all that jazz if you, um, if you stick around in a place that's too scary for too long and you're not even gonna realize it. Um, sound comes from the painting, it's getting closer. People have actually commented that this right here, these stone vines look kind of like tentacles. I'm not gonna lie, once you point it out, it's it's kind of like, yeah, you can't get it out of your head. Anyway, are you two alright? That scared me. I am fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not hurt, but yeah, we can't cut it down, but they're s because they're made out of stone. But Gary, Gary, you, they're vines! Stone or not, they're vines! You have a lighter, man! A lighter! Burn it! Then again, I don't think it comes to his mind to burn it. I don't know why, but maybe the fact that it's stone, he doesn't think it'll work. Seriously, dude, burn it! Burn it to the ground! Anyway, we get a key, so we're gonna go into that room. We should go look. Gary's gonna be all worried about us, and yes, we're gonna be fine. So yes. Mary, yes, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be a little tag team duo here. A feministic duo. Um, okay, so let's just go through the bare minimum. Get the crayons. Ooh, look, there's a palette knife. We should totally cut the vines. But yeah, we're not good with jokes. Sorry. Okay, and then we look into this. Worn brushes. Nothing really useful in this room, as she points out. And we're like... Okay, yeah, let's let's go to Gary, as you said, and oh my god, we can't. So we try to move it, it doesn't work, so we can't get out, we have to go this way. Um, I really want to see if he'll bang on that window. Nope, he'll bang on this window. Okay, cool, just wanted to know, guys. Yes, yes, hi clown. Yes. I want you to have fun in a world without adults. We'll be together, you, me, and our friends. But I want Gary! I love Gary! And Gary, we left him behind, so he's gonna call after us, and he's gonna be all, like, worried, and... Of course, we don't hear him because we've gone too far, so now he's like, okay, there's nothing else to do... Except BURN THE VINES! Except he doesn't think of that, so he just decides to investigate the room. Between, um, yeah, and so this is the reality of the room. I would think if I saw the hanging part, yeah, I'd also be creeped out. Seriously, Gary, it is cute. You just can't appreciate it right now, because it's all so freaky. Anyway, um, honestly, between <laughs> Ion and myself, we're such little pyros in this game. It's pretty hilarious. So anyway, we go out um, into that little exit like a little bunny hole. There's no exit, but we just found an exit. Um, this one is a little hand that reaches out from here and attacks us. Uh, it takes one health away. Then there's this green smoke that comes from this lever, um, which takes away two of our health. This one just turns off the light, so I'm gonna do that, just to freak him out. Um, and then uh, this is the one that we actually need. Which brings that down so it can cross. And technically we're invisible. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then this one is the only other one that really uh, gets... You can tell the story changes a little bit. Um, before there was a red eyes... Um, a blue red eyes doll that fell. Now, 
it's gonna be a mannequin head that falls because we kicked the mannequin head in that mirror room and it's it's cracked into pieces um come on man come on face me face me I know you're back there laughing at me I'll show you what I mean by that um because it's basically uh the mama of all the uh of this this blue red eyes dolls is gonna stand there and just mock and laugh at us and taunt us come on face me I'm gonna be productive while I wait for you come on come on out I know you're there alright I'm gonna go into this room leave because I am determined to see the mama of this whole little group come on come on face me I know you're there come on show me show me what you got come on fine I have to scare Gary some more is that it thought the power never come back come on come back here I refuse to leave until you friggin ah uh, I'd rather have this be three parts come on Show yourself, stupid. I can do this all day, man. All day. Sorry, YouTubers. I'm totally gonna edit this out. Um. Come on! Face me! You coward. I want it to laugh at us. I want it to show itself. Show yourself, man. Show yourself. We know you're laughing at us back there. There's no denying it. You might as well come out. Maybe I have to get hurt. Ah, Give it extra reason to come out. Come on, man. Come on, not funny. Maybe to you, but not to us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come out, you scaredy cat. Come out. I know you're hiding there. No exit, no reason. Come on! Maybe it'll help if I uh, move Ib some, but... Come on! No? Seriously? Not gonna do it? Not gonna do it? What's wrong with you, man? Come on! There you are! Look at him! Look at it! Her? Look at her? Laughing at us! You're laughing at it! Ugh. Yes, nothing happens. But you saw it! You saw him! Laughing at us. I don't care. I don't want to play with you. I'm gonna ignore you. I'm not taking you with me. Yes, I hate you. Creepy thing. No, I don't want to be your friend. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not even going to- I don't want to be introduced to your other friends. You're all creepy. Go away from me. Disturbing doll. How long are you going to follow me? Now see, um, you get two choices here. Enough of this time. I don't have time to be your buddy. You can kick it into the wall or move it out of the way. If you, uh, this is- this kicking this, um, is sort of like what you, what happens with the, uh, mannequin. If you kick the mannequin, all those little different effects happen. This too, if you kick it, lots of different things uh, chain, uh, get changed. So you're going to kick it, stupid doll, get out of my way. <laughs> Red fluid flows out from the doll. Da, 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 da. Ooh, that's gross. Locked. It hurts. It hurts. Yes. That, that, that's what you get for trying to make us take you with us. 
And see that? Creepy. The head's just rolling around. It's only your fault my head was plucked off. Well, then you shouldn't have followed me. Stupid creepy thing. Alright. For now, this room is locked. So, we don't care about that. Um, what's with this room? Don't want to stay here too long. Take the umbrella. Get out of here. Heal ourselves. And we're going to go into this room to read that we have to collect the seven balls of pain. So now, this will be unlocked. No, I lied. But we can get him. Oh, we get hurt. Ow. Well, that's what happens if you just press random keys. You have to actually go through this slowly. Anyway, you get that number from Ib's side um, uh, in the painting right next to the tree keyhole. So all of the paint. Now this should be open. I lied. Again. Sorry guys. I try not to lie. Alright. What is wrong with you? Rolling around head, moving around, rolling all the way over here. What you doing, what you doing, I wanna know. Well, too bad. Go away. I'm gonna heal myself, then save again. All of the saving, obsessive sailing. Sa sailing? Saving. <laughs> um, we're just gonna go right on across. Okay. This time I'm gonna say, is Gary your dad? And I'm. Even though he's our bestest buddy, we're gonna say, no, he's essentially a stranger. Hmm? Oh, really? So you met here? I see. Is your mom nice? And this time we're gonna say, yes, our mom is nice. That's good. You wanna see your parents again soon, right? I wanna get out soon, too. You just wanna infiltrate our family, that's why you're interrogating us about it. About my family. Okay. Hey, fisherman. There's no one there. Well... Lady without, um, without your umbrella, we're gonna get you your umbrella. That's what we're gonna do. Take it off. If it breaks, good. That's what we want. It's so heavy that it actually, if you can see through the red uh, smoke, um, it actually made a crack in the uh, in the floor. So that's what we wanted. And then we're going to go here, put in a name. Marvelous Knight is the painting, so we go in. Uh, and if you uh, read this book right here, then it'll um, give you three options. The J is for the juggler, and that's where you find out the 6223. Um, and now, the fisherman is there! Yay! So, okay. We get Gary to go over here, put the, um, the umbrella. There we go. We don't want to, we don't want to touch it. It'll, it'll poke us and it'll hurt. Um, and then we're gonna go back to Ib. We're gonna get the umbrella. We're gonna take the umbrella. See, now we can say it. A red umbrella fished up by the fisherman. Oh, that's cute. Um, okay. Give this to the lady. The very, very pretty lady. It's raining now. Yay! I'm pretty sure that, that wasn't necessary, considering Gary, um... Yeah, I already got the paintball, so it's not necessary, but this is what you would do if you want to, um, heal yourself here. Um, and then you would have to go all the way down there to undo the smoke, uh, which actually I think is relevant to the story, so I have to do that. My bad, guys. Totally forgot that it, that's not something I can actually skip. Place my rose there. Take off the smog. And now the first thing you'll notice is that after we heal and go back to Ib, um, uh, the smoke here is gone now, see? It's actually relevant that we do that. It's necessary that we do that. The smoke from that guy is gone. 
So, yeah, um, now we have to do the vital thing for the storyline. Okay, we need to get the green paintball. If you do this earlier, it won't seem quite so uh, redundant or of sorts, but, you know, basically, you have to get to that spot after, even if you had just left the room. And then, voila, you can move here now. And you can get that paintball. And that strained ear painting? Yeah, if you look at Mary, that's the only one that's important, you realize it's the Mary that we're very, rec you know, we're very well acquainted with, and she's with Ib. So, yes, I heard Mary's secrets. Sing song voice. And they're in cahoots. Him, the strained ear, and the, uh, the tattletale. They're in cahoots. Sorry, I can't even go away, so I have to talk to Mary. I'm gonna ask her if she's okay. And she's gonna be all like, Am I okay? Okay? Okay, okay? Okay? <laughs> Ib, okay. Mary, I'm okay. Mary, me. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy girl. Come back here, you crazy girl, so I can show the world how crazy you are. Look at that! It's me she's mutilating her friend, the mannequin. In my way, in my way, in my way, in my way. And she's she's referring to Gary being in her way. So we're gonna we're gonna go away from her. She's freaky. Bib, don't leave me. Well, look, we can uh, technically ditch her. See ha, oh, you can't chase me. But no, um, the minute you come near her, she'll start following you again. She'll follow you all around the room until you enter a room. You don't want to enter a room because watch what you can do when you don't enter a room. Ib, your flower's all red and pretty. Can I touch it? No. Hmm. Cookies and cream and chocolate and tiki, so much to eat. I want to eat all these sweets. That's why she eats her candy. What were you doing? Huh? Oh, that was... I'm sorry, I'm not too sure either. I was just... All these feelings suddenly... See? She admits there are id feelings! Id game feelings! Anyway. How do you say it? Came gushing out? Um, uh... Don't worry about it, I'll be fine. Sure you will, once you vent out your rage on someone. And no, that was not the clown's spit, that was his nose that fell out like the friggin' fruit in the top corner on the upstairs. Anyway. I love to draw. I've got lots of crayons. See? The crayons. Crayons are totally her thing. Crayons. She she was basically the one who wrote, um, help, no, don't kill me, you know, and mwahaha, we're going to burn you, woman. Burn. You're going to die. Even though we're trying to be friends with her, she's still going to die. We're going to kill her. We just want to, you know, get some, uh, pity for her going. So anyway, we should draw sometime. I'm pretty good, you see. Yeah, um, if anything in the sketchbook tells me anything, then you know you're not all that good. Especially not in the toy box. <laughs> for an art gallery, there aren't many visitors, huh? I wish more people would come. For an art gallery, there aren't many visitors, huh? Yeah, I already read that. Um, I hope Gary is safe. Yes, that would be nice. You don't think that. You so don't think that. But he if he's not, we'll just have to leave him behind, right? No. Just you, just saying. Of course, of course you're just saying that. Let's play dolls. I'll be the mom doll and it can be the dad doll. Aha, tee hee. We passed a clown. Thing rolling down the stairs must have been the clown spit. No, it wasn't. I'm tired, but let's do our best. Yeah. You've been walking around the whole time, huh, Em? Don't wear yourself out. You have to get out of here. We're almost there. See? She knows! She knows this world! This is her world! This is her territory! She knows! She's totally, totally trying to kill us all. She she rules this whole place. She is totally the, like, queen bee of this place. So let's keep at it. Well, okay. Em, do you know about snow? I do. Because I live in the East Coast. Wow, that's nice. It's really cold, right? I read in a book that you can eat it with syrup. I wonder how it tastes. Ib, would you be friends with me? I've always wanted a girl like me who could be my friend. 
And I want to meet your mom, too. I don't, I mean, I don't even have a dad. You do! It's Gortetta! Ib, how is this scarf? It's cute. Hehe, <laughs> I'm glad. I really like it, too. Your ribbon's all big and cute, too, Ib. Um, and I just want to show you the uh, other things. It suits you. If you say it suits you, you realize what color it is. Really? I'm glad. I really like blue. And red really suits you, Ib. <clears throat> yeah. That's why she wants Gary's blue rose. Because she loves blue, and it's kind of like a win-win for her. <laughs> I wonder what Gary's doing. Crying all alone, maybe. I hope we find him soon. So you can kill him, stab at him with that palette knife like you mauled your uh, your friend over there. Oh god, she's so crazy. The more you talk to her, the more crazy you realize she is, but Ib's too young to realize just how crazy. And she's like, I wish more people would come. Yes. Anyway, um, come on, give me the snow option again. Snow. I want to show you these guys what what you say when I say I don't know what snow is. Because, you know, we're totally from California. Come on. There we go, ha! I don't. It's like this small white stuff that falls from the sky. And you, you can gather up a bunch of snow and make it into a ball, and then throw them to have a snowball fight. It sounds really fun. I want to try it. Don't you? And that's basically all she says. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Ha! That's the last one. I always forget this one. Huh? Why am I staying behind you? Well, why not? There's no real reason. Liar. Dot dot dot. See? See? She knows she's lying. Anyway, we're gonna go uh, see that friend of hers that she mauled. Um. Oh, poor Mr. Mannequin Head. Mannequin covered in moons. Oh my god, poor Mannequin Head. And see, now she's walking around on her own, and uh, she totally, totally, the tattletale right here, tattletale, totally, totally ratted us out. Totally ratted us out. Alright, um, and I do believe I finished everything else here, so I gotta go back to Gary, that's what I have to do. And, uh, head rolling around. Picked up something good. Not giving it to you. It's my treasure. Well, guess what? Something is jutting out from the head. No longer the stomach, the head. We can check the doll even though we don't even want to touch it. I, I'm pretty sure that that sound means we rip the head a little bit, but, you know. We, we got the red paint. One more left. Creepy thing. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna save because um, it's already getting really long and I'm just gonna make the, you know, make it two parts. So a total of three. So, um, just so you know guys, this, uh, this door, yeah, that's the room with all of the red eyes. A friend of mine had a nightmare because of it. Anyway, um, so... Nightmare, Red Eyes Insanity, all that good stuff is coming next time. So, uh, see you guys. Bye.